Have you ever thought about the dangers you've never seen, the situations you didn't even realize could have harmed you? We often focus on the things that go wrong, but how often do we stop and thank God for the things that never happened, the moments when his protection covered us, shielding us from threats we couldn't see. Today, we're going to talk about how God works behind the scenes in ways we might never fully understand. He's protecting us from unseen dangers. By the end of this, you'll realize just how much you are covered by his divine shield. So stay with me. You won't want to miss it. When we talk about God's protection, it's easy to think of the things we can see, illnesses we recover from, accidents we survive, or difficult situations we navigate. But there is so much more happening in the spiritual realm that we don't always recognize. The Bible is filled with promises that God shields us from dangers seen and unseen. One of the clearest examples is in Psalm 91 verse 3. It says, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. The snare of the fowler refers to hidden traps, dangers we may not even be aware of. We live in a world filled with physical dangers, but the Bible also reminds us of the spiritual battles happening around us. Ephesians 6 verse 12 tells us, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This means there are forces at work that we can't always see. But God is always fighting for us. He is sending his angels to watch over us. In 2 Kings 6, verse 16 to 17, the prophet Elisha and his servant were surrounded by enemy soldiers. The servant was terrified, but Elisha prayed, Lord, open his eyes so he may see. God opened the servant's eyes and he saw. The mountains were full of horses and chariots of fire, God's army, protecting them. In the same way, there are countless times when we are surrounded by God's protection, even though we can't see it. Another example of God's hidden protection is found in Job 1 verse 10. Here, Satan complains that God has placed a hedge around Job, protecting him from harm. This hedge is an image of divine protection that surrounds us, guarding us from the attacks of the enemy. Have you ever experienced a time when things seem to fall into place in a way you couldn't explain? Maybe you avoided an accident or an opportunity came at just the right moment. Those are the moments when God's hand is at work. His protection is not always visible to us, but it's there, constantly guiding and shielding us. We are also reminded of this. In Isaiah 54 verse 17, it says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. This is not just a promise for physical protection, but spiritual as well. God is constantly defending us from the schemes of the enemy, even when we aren't aware of the danger. Our trust in God's protection should be absolute. Even when we don't see it, the Bible encourages us, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, to walk by faith, not by sight, and this means trusting that God's shield is always present, covering us in ways we may never fully understand until we meet him face to face. Let's pray now. Heavenly Father, I come before you today 
with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. Thank you for your endless love, for the grace that sustains me, and for the protection that surrounds me every day. You are my rock and my refuge, the one in whom I place my trust. Lord, I thank you, not only for the dangers I can see, but especially for the countless dangers I will never know. You shield me from harm in ways I could never comprehend. Your hand is always upon me, guiding me through the paths of life, keeping me safe from the seen and unseen. You are my fortress, my place of safety, my God in whom I trust. I praise you for the times you've kept me from harm, for the moments when your divine protection was at work, even when I was unaware. Father, I know that you are always at work, behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for my good. Even when I can't see your hand, I trust that you are working, guarding me from the attacks of the enemy, from accidents, from harm, and from traps and snares that I may never know existed. Your word, Lord, promises in Psalm 91 that you will deliver me from the hidden dangers, and today I find peace and rest in that promise. I declare that your angels are encamped around me. Your divine presence surrounds me and my loved ones, shielding us from all harm, covering us with your mighty wings. I stand under the shadow of your protection, O Lord. Lord, I ask that you open my eyes, just as you opened the eyes of Elisha's servant, so that I may see the fullness of your protection over my life. Help me, Father, to recognize your hand at work, even when circumstances seem difficult. Help me to trust that you are in control, and that your love surrounds me, even in the face of danger. Remove all fear and doubt from my heart, Lord. Help me to remember that no matter what I face, your love is greater, your power is stronger, and your presence is ever near. You have placed a hedge of protection around me, just as you did for Job. And I declare in faith that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Your word assures me that you will protect me from every scheme of the enemy, and I trust that I am safe in your arms. Father, I lift up those who are facing danger today whether it's physical danger, emotional struggles, or spiritual battles. I ask that your mighty hand covers them right now. Wrap them in your peace, Lord, and let them feel the comfort of your presence. For those who are feeling vulnerable, those who feel they are under attack, I pray that you fight their battles for them. Let them know, Father, that you are their defender, and that you are with them in every trial they face. You are our protector, our shield, and we can find refuge in you. Lord, I also pray for protection in the areas of life we may not even realize we need it. Keep us from falling into harmful relationships, guide us away from making wrong decisions, and guard us from any path that leads us away from you. Help us to walk in your ways, Father, and lead us in the paths of righteousness. Shield us from the snares of the enemy and keep us close to you in all we do. Lord, I am eternally grateful for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who, through his death and resurrection, defeated every evil power and conquered death itself. Through his sacrifice, I know that I am protected not only from physical harm, but from every spiritual attack that comes my way. I declare that I am covered by his precious blood and that his victory is mine as I go through my day. Help me to remember, Lord, that you are with me, watching over me, guiding me, and keeping me safe. When I feel fear or anxiety creep in, remind me of your promises and help me to place my trust fully in you, knowing that your plans for me are good and that you are always working for my good. Father, I rest in your divine protection. I release all my worries, my fears, 
and my doubts into your capable hands. I trust that you are shielding me, guarding me, and guiding me through every step of this journey called life. Thank you, Lord, for being my shelter in times of trouble and my protector in times of peace. You are my shield, my defender, and I place all my hope and trust in you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Take this moment to reflect on God's divine protection in your life. Consider how he has been your shield and your guide, even in the times when you may not have been aware of it. Trust that his protection will continue to cover you, and remember to thank him for his unfailing love and grace. If this prayer has spoken to you, type Amen and share this message with someone who may need it today. Let's walk in faith together, knowing that God is always with us and his protection never fails.